Take a look here at what? the end of the play. Watch number nine slide out of bounds, and we'll see what happened. There's a ball boy there. Oh, the whack. He's got the... The whack jacket yeah, on. The whack jacket. He's upended. Mm. Mm, pretty good lick. Hopefully that youngster is all right. See, so, you know, these big guys, they got pads and helmets and everything on, but that young man is completely unprotected, and he took a pretty good shot. You know, well, that's just, good news right there. Yeah, just kind yeah, of a reminder, good. too, to some of the folks that sometimes you feel fortunate to get a sideline pass, Gary. And if you aren't paying attention, I mean on any play and every play, you never know. And even though that youngster saw him coming, he still couldn't avoid the uh, collision that just reminded if you do have on the sidelines, folks, you better back off. Let's go down to Kevin real quick. No, guys, I'm basically going to say exactly what you just did. You guys have been down here before. You know, those kids have a job to do. I know, like me, if I see the play coming anywhere close to me, I get the heck out of the way. I'd rather have somebody laugh at me than get run over by a guy that's not paying attention to me. You really do have to keep your head on a swivel down here. Smith focusing straight ahead. It gets to the 45-yard line before he's brought down by Green, and that'll move the chains, and you're getting closer to a point where Louisiana Tech might want to control that clock a little bit more and be able to tack on another touchdown and if their special teams can prevent Rice and Hatfield from running it back, force them to uh, really go to much more to the air, although that hadn't been a problem for Herm here in the second half. First and 10 at the 44. In the Rice territory, Ed si or is it the 32-yard line? Dendy made the tackle on Delwyn Digg. <laughs> 24 yards on the pickup. The Diggs having a fine afternoon. Good receiver. He's their go-to guy now, Bill, and they're going to get it to him as much as they can. The quick slim post again, and the second time he's made that big catch over the middle. Eight catches, 123 yards now for Delwyn Digg. And it's first and 10 of the 31, more importantly for the Bulldogs. Smith, the fake. McCowan keeps. Dances right by one defender and then leans to the 20. He's got a first down. So McCowan, who scored the last touchdown on a 25-yard sideline scamper, picks up another first down. And nice ball handling. Yeah, it was good ball handling. Watch the footwork. He gets going to have Gatlin here, number 40. Just kind of settle him down. Whoops, I'm going the other way. <laughs> Big tall guy getting around him, but Gatlin comes back to make the tackle along with Denby. Good job that time by McCown and showing his open field ability, Bill. Caps comes in with the play as Diggs puts wide to the right side. First and 10, ball on the 20. McCown with three on the play clock, better snap it. Calls the timeout. Timeout, Louisiana Tech with 6.51 remaining in the football game. Or I should say in regulation today, 38-31. <laughs> you never know with, yeah. this, with this game going on the way it's going right now. And you know, Rice at this point has just got to be thinking, if we could just have a possession where we have a chance to tie or take the lead. Well, they need to stop them here. We'll have it for you in a moment. Gets the football and is stopped at the 20-yard line. Got a yard, I guess it was. Yeah, they make it second down and nine, and Sabula made the tackle that time. There's a look at Nick. Coming into a football game, the who's going to take Bulldogs offensively, Bill. Conroy Hines, their offense coordinator, told me, said they'd like to throw the ball probably 65% of the time and throw at the remainder and run at the remainder. But now's the time of the football game where you want to run the clock, you want to get, a, get yardage and take that just the other way. But they still throw the football first and second down, even when they're ahead in the ball game. And sometimes that can create some problems, but they've been effective uh, in the last couple of drives. Second and nine from the 19. McCowan dancing, looking, looking, looking in trouble. Ran into his own man, and he is sacked. At the 31, maybe 32-yard line, where Green made the tackle on Luke McCown. And that's a big, big play because it's going to knock him back if they're going to attempt a field goal here on possibly even a fourth down. It brings up a third down. Good coverage. Watch, you're going to have umbrella coverage here. It's zone coverage, actually. The linebackers are just dropping on underneath. And you see the zone coverage underneath here, and quarterback can't find anybody. Good, good job by the defenders of coming in there and just continuing on the play. The point I'm talking about, though, is here on third down. It's a third and long, third and nearly 20. That'll be a 
a 45, 46 yard field goal if they don't get anything else. Dang with the reception and it will be a long field goal attempt. They're gonna mark it at the 30, 25 yard line. So and you're looking it, at about a 42, 43 yard field goal. Now, Scobie's hit it from 48 is as long this year. He also hit a 51 yarder against Miami last year. There is virtually no wind on the flagpole, although at the top of the stadium is still breezing. What would you think a little bit of a crosswind or at least had him some? He sets up for the 42 yarder. Big play. Not going to get there. And he misses on the 42 yarder, and Rice holds. And that will give the Owls possession on the 25-yard line, 4.39 to go, down a touchdown. Look at Ken Hatfield over there saying, well, guys, what I tell you? Here's what you wanted, wasn't it? All you got to do is go score. Well, I, I credit Ken Hatfield because he has really opened up that offensive playbook this year. He's hey, put in the, the no huddle. He's put in the shotgun offense, able to work that effectively. He's expanded and gotten more depth at his wide receiver position, so it allows him to throw. So overall, they've done a good job with their package and coming out here in the second half and able to score some points. Want to remind you that tonight it's a doubleheader on college football presented by Kyocera, Colorado versus Oklahoma State, and then Washington takes on Arizona State all on Fox Sports Net. Starts at 6 o'clock Central as Rice comes out on first down. And Herm in the second half 9 of 14, 164 yards in the touchdown in the air after 0 of 3, no yards passing in the first half, Gary. Incredible. Best passing day for Rice in better than two years. This one deflected on a second down and 10 and the La Tech defense with Avance pawing away at it. Junior out of Mesquite, Dallas uh, area. And now third and 10 facing the Owls. Well, Kyle Herm is short now. You're going to have to remember that. His best chance to, roll, to, to throw the football is probably to roll out, get away from the defenders who are rushing inside of him at 5'8". Not a big, big guy back there to be able to look over that offensive line. Good look at what coming right at him now. Herm on third and 10. Going deep. Got a man. It is complete. And Okoronkwo again with a big reception. Amazing. At the 35-yard line of Louisiana Tech, a 40-yard pass play. Good job by Okoronko getting behind the defense. That's Willie Shepard on the outside, number 20, and Kyle Herm just lays it out there for him. He's about a good step, step and a half behind the defender. <laughs> Michael John Leonard coming over, making the tackle out of bounds. Big play by Rice. Okoronko sets him up first and 10 at the 35 of the Bulldogs. Bradley on the opposite, chasing to the corner, fortunate to get back to the line of scrimmage. And that was about it. Well, I don't fault them to try to run the ball, try to get something positive on first and second down. But the, the timing on that pitch, it hasn't been real crisp all day, and the defense for the Bulldogs have done a nice job of stringing the play out on the option and, and making good plays in the backfield often, but sometimes on the sideline like that play. Randall and Ray, Gray, they were there to make the tackle as Kyle Hearn comes back with a play on second and 10. Lock stop, 4.19 to go in the football game. 38-31, Louisiana Tech. Herm out of the shotgun this time. Got a little time, finds a man. And Hawkins with the reception, Shepard the tackle inside the 30. It'll be third and short. Now Vincent Hawkins is normally just a halfback, Bill. That's what that's what uh, Ken Hatfield has done. He's taking his halfbacks and spreads them out. They go now to the bone. They bring it out to the four and five wide receiver look. Real four. versatile offense. Third and four on the option. And right up the middle, boy, Herm took a shot. Kyle Herm, after handing that football off, got rocked as Avance made the tackle. Robbie Beck is really close, Bill, to the first down. They're going to probably measure it here. It'll be ready to make the call because he's only got one timeout remaining. Now the clock is not the problem here. It's the fourth down. They've got, got to get a first down here to continue this drive and going to get up there and try to punch it out for the first down. Fourth and one. 
Everybody in tight. Beck got the first down as he leans across that left side. That'll move the chains. Gray made the tackle at the 28-yard line. They'll respot the ball and start the clock again with 3.13 right now. Well, the offensive line, pretty good surge. They do a lot of scramble blocks on the offensive line there for their normal option running attack, and no different in short yard. They do a good job getting get into the legs of the defenders, but they made it back for the first down. Burn going deep, first six, in the end zone. He caught it! Touchdown, Owls! Who else? Booth! Gavin Booth! And Rice is one point away from tying this sucker up. 38-37. Incredible, Gary. This has just been an incredible half of football for the Rice Owls. A career quarterback performance by a quarterback here for Rice with Ken Hatfield at the helm with his coaching staff and this offense. It has opened up. Kyle Hearn, I tell you, is a sophomore. Got a real bright future with this group. All important point after. By Skeen, up and good. They've caught him. 38, 38. A 31-point deficit was facing Ken Hatfield's team. And they start all over with three minutes to go. Well, what Ken, whatever Ken Hatfield told his bunch at halftime, if he could bottle that and sell it to coaches around the country, he'd be a millionaire. That was a, I'd say it's been a great effort by that bunch coming back. And Louisiana Tech, they've got to find a way to get, some, you know, find, get some life and find a way to get back in this thing. They did have the, have had their opportunities, but the defensive Rice has responded when necessary, got turnovers and turned positive. Uh, putting points on the board. So a 23-yard touchdown pass as Booth grabs it and let's take another look. What a throw by Herm. Well, Herm just throws it up and outside and Gavin Booth is just going to be neck and neck here. Just the defender turns around. Shepard doesn't even see the ball. What a catch. Gets it up under one arm. Watch his left arm. Shepard is just shattering in there. He turns his head around trying to disrupt the catch, but just a great, great effort. Well, Herm and Booth have connected on two touchdown passes. Hatfield's got a 15-yard run. Beck has got two touchdown runs on short yardage gains. Skeen, a 25-yard field goal, and Rice, once down 31-0, has made it a 38-38 game. 